Hey everyone, Emma from Blessed Forward Ministries here. I am, hope you are all well. It is so great to be making a new creative video to share with you all that will hopefully encourage and inspire you. Um, I haven't made a video like this for a very long time. Um, so obviously, as I used to always say, please bear with me. I am not the best at making these videos. I just enjoy making them to encourage and inspire you. And hopefully, you know, you get some good ideas and stuff to use in your own journaling. Um, so oh, I'm just so super excited to be doing this video, as I said. I mean, I have been in a season where my job as a childminder has been so busy, um, looking after little toddlers all day long. Um, so I've not had much free time um, to create these videos, but they have now gone off to um, nursery. So they come to me in the mornings and they go off to nursery in the afternoons. So I now have my afternoons free um, for a few hours to hopefully enjoy making more videos again. So oh, I'm excited to get on with this first one. Um, so let's get on with it. So I am going to finish um, doing this hand cut paper cut design I am working on um, for Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Um, psalm 23 is one of my favourite psalms. I love to go to all the time. Um, so I was just reflecting on this the other day and just enjoyed creating a little something for the first verse. And um, it is, the Lord is my shepherd, is the bit that I have been focusing on. So as you can see, as always from my past videos, it is half started because these hand cut paper cut designs um, do take time to cut out. Um, so, and like I always used to say it when I was making these videos a while ago, you know, I try and keep my videos as short as possible, but I know they do run on a bit. So hopefully you will bear with me and enjoy the process of me creating this and I can share some tips and stuff along the way and you may be encouraged to think oh I might give that a go or you just think actually that was just nice to watch <laughs> and leave it at that <laughs> so I do have on my website a section um, for paper cutting um, so it's under the free download section so you'll find a paper cut section and on there you will find some videos which explains all about how you can do paper cutting and um, you know the techniques the tools required the paper required and stuff like that there is a free how to download as well as some free um, paper cut designs you can download um, to enjoy giving it a go yourself so but as you can see in front of me here um, the main things you need is you need a cutting mat um, you need a design you want to um, cut out so it can be one you create yourself it can be one you buy from a person who sells paper cut designs um, like myself I do sell them you can find them on my Etsy shop or like I said they are some free downloads on my website um so and then obviously you need the paper obviously to print the design on so um you can either use special single-sided paper or most of the time i just use 160 gram white card um to cut my designs out um so like i said you know all this is explained on um the how-to videos there are four of them all together so do go and check them out and be encouraged to maybe have a go. Um, I always say to people, you know, it is a skill that um, takes time to get good at. I've been cutting these designs since 2013. So, <laughs> um, but it is a skill that when you, I, I, I found when I first started doing it, they weren't this good. They were rough and ready. <laughs> they were rough <laughs> around the edges. Um, so don't worry if you give it a try for the first time and you think, gosh, that looks a bit rough. 
that's okay that's perfectly fine as with anything it's a process um so and i absolutely love this process of paper cutting because it just really it does slow you down when you um create these and cut these i love to as you can hear maybe in the background i've got a bit of worship music on i love coming with these designs just sticking my worship music on just taking some you know nice quiet relaxing time well it won't be quiet because i've got worship music on <laughs> right <laughs> um but you know what i mean um nice relaxing time with god just chatting with god you know talking about the verse that i'm looking at thinking about the verse i'm looking at you know listening to what god's saying about the verse i'm you know working on and stuff like that and i can spend a good couple you know these take a good couple of hours so i do spend a good couple of hours and it's amazing i just find it so relaxing such a stress reliever as well after a busy day or a busy time so But yes so as i say this one's nearly hand cut out now because i finished most of it before i started the video so it didn't take too long but hopefully just me doing this little bit gives you an idea how to cut it and how they're done but like I say, I have plenty more videos. There is a playlist section on YouTube of me doing these sort of things that you can check out and enjoy as well. Right, so that is the design cut out and that's my little dot there. So I'm just going to keep that to the side. Put my craft knife up somewhere safe because it's very sharp. So that is my um, design all cut out nearly so I've just got the little dot but I will cut that out last minute because I'm very good at losing these dots <laughs> um, so I'm just going to bring my bible over now and I'm going to decorate the page that is going to go on so I will show you so I'm using I use my interleavered bible to stick all my paper cut designs in mainly I do sometimes create a tip in and stick them on a tip in to add into my bible um just going to grab my other Bible so I can just show you. So here is obviously one that I've done and I haven't stuck into my interleaved Bible. I've created a little tip in and stuck it, stuck it in there like that. But I do mainly come to my Bible and like here's one and stick them into my interleaved Bible. So let's get on with creating a background. So I'm going to create a nice background for it, hopefully and if you know me well you will know one of my favorite ways to create backgrounds is i love to use these soft pastel chalks they are just perfect for creating backgrounds i do have a video um i think it might be on youtube or is it in the blessed forward community group where i did um some different techniques you can do with chalk so um have a look under the um youtube sections of the different creative techniques and ideas you should find it there if not it is in the video section on our community group so i am just going to create a rough background so whenever i create my chalk backgrounds you will know i just go for it there's no wrong or right way you just have to go for it and hope for your best so i want to create with a bit of green So I'm going to use two different shades of green just so uh, you can see and I have to keep reminding myself I need to keep checking in the phone to make sure you can all see <laughs> and to blend it in I just use a bit of tissue paper toilet paper whatever I have at handy napkin and I'm just going to blend that in like that for now I'm basically going to make it a bit darker in a minute so I tend to make my backgrounds in a process sort of way. So then I want to have a bit of yellow. Um, oh, normally, as you can see, I've stuck some white paper under that side and I forgot to do it this side, um, but it doesn't matter. So I normally just stick white paper either side just to give a bit of protection to the um, 
edging of the Bible and to the other pages a little bit, but it's not always necessarily, necessarily needed. So I'm now doing some yellow at the top here. So and just blend that in nice as well. And as you can see, it creates a really nice background, these pastel chalks. And what I absolutely love about these pastel chalks as well is, is if you want to create nice um, backgrounds in your Bibles as well, but you don't want to cover the words that you can't see them, as you can see, these can create some lovely backgrounds and you can still see your text for reading your Bible. So everybody has their own way they like to journal. I have Bibles where I don't mind covering the words in and I have Bibles where I like to make sure I can still read the words and see the words. So, you know, if you're somebody who has, a, you know, the same sort of Bible where you want to make sure you can see the words, this is a great way for doing it. I'm just making the green a bit darker. So whenever you stick white onto your your white paper cut designs onto colour, you want the colour to really pop. So I just want to make sure I get it dark enough. I'm going to maybe go with a bit of a dark orangey yellow there because I want to add a bit, but not too much. Just a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. That's better. So that is my background, very easily done. Um, so how can you seal it so it doesn't smudge if you're doing one page? Um, you can use hairspray, cheap hairspray, um, or you can use a fixative spray. I, I use both. I have a fixative spray and I use hairspray. Some people recommend you don't use hairspray, but I've never had a problem using hairspray. And then I saw this fixative spray on offer, so I bought it because it was on offer. Um, but normally I just buy cheap hairspray, um, 99p <laughs> hairspray. Sorry, I'm just having a sip of my tea. Um, and that obviously seals it and stops it from smudging and spreading onto other pages. If you only, say, do one side, you don't want it to spread onto the other side. I tend to just make sure the page is dry. And then I am ready to stick my design on. So I'm not going to just stick it on first. I'm just going to pop it on and I'm just going to stick it on there like that. So it'll go like that. There we go, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to move these chalks out of the way. Bear with me because know me, I will knock the pack and my chalks will go flying everywhere and create one big mess for me. So let's pop that on there. So how do I stick down my paper cut design? Again, all this is in some of the how-to videos and other videos, but I like to use a glue pen and you will find a glue pen is the best way to do it. Um, trying to use like um, the prick stick glue, so the glue sticks like this, you would find really hard or the thicker glue pens you would find really hard. This one's got a nice thin nib. Um, so I recommend these sort of ones. So I'm just going to then ooh, move my Bible so you can see. I'm going to just take my pen and then you just dot the glue pen all around the design. It doesn't have to cover every area. So just get it roughly on parts of the paper cut design. Um, so obviously I say it doesn't have to be on all parts because the whole idea is it does have a bit of an effect where it looks like it's coming off the page sometimes in areas. So it doesn't have to cover it all. And I just do the main sections that I definitely want to make sure stick down. So that is that done nice and quick so then i will bring this back over and i will stick it into whoop excuse me stick it into my bible i hope you can all see i keep checking my phone which as you will know from past videos or if you don't know is um above my head i don't have special recording equipment i just have my iphone and a little 
damned thing I bought off Amazon for it and I go for it and hope for the best. <laughs> so that is stuck down there. Hopefully you can see and you're getting a good effect. My lighting, I'm never sure if it's okay because as I say, I don't have any special equipment or anything. I just have my lamp and the normal daylight or lighting of the ceiling light to rely on. So I'm just going to get my dot now ready to stick in. Just reach over for my glue pen. Put a bit of glue on there. And I think we'll go with that one. So that's my dot. So, whoa, I'm throwing that over there. Obviously, you don't want to throw a craft knife. I've threw a craft knife once before. Tried to catch it. Don't ask me why. I tried to catch it. Um, I cut myself and I had to have stitches on my finger. Not a nice experience. <laughs> so... Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enjoy adding some more little bits of art around it and I'm going to use some ink and ink stamps. So I've got these lovely colourful um, different coloured ink stamps. They were just cheap off Amazon um, that I brought and I'm just going to get some of my ink stamp and create some bits with them. So... I do absolutely like love using these. So I'm just going to do this a minute. So I'm going to use green for the green bit, of course. <laughs> Ooh, chucking my ink stamp about. So I tend to just stick and found these are so old and I've tried to get wash them and get them re-sticky but they're not very re-sticky I don't know if it's just because they were some cheap ones I brought and they're not the best quality ink stamps but I absolutely love them but I find they just won't re come re-sticky to stick on the PVC blocks very good so I just tend to stick loads of ink all over this like so I'll have to try washing them again and I'm going to stick it on there like that. Hopefully you can see. And it's conscious. <laughs> I just hold it down and press it in for a while. There you go. So just in case you wondered, I haven't just sewed this page because I'm not worried about bleed through. But I tend to find I don't get much bleed through um, when I do this sort of decorating and stuff for my paper cuts in this Bible. But because it's, you know, not my main bible I use for reading and studying and stuff like that and taking everywhere um, I'm not really worried about bleed through too much there we go so I'm happy with that and I'm just going to clean it off with a wipe the green And then I'm going to use some orangey yellow. So um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I might go with the circle for the yellow. I don't want the orangey colour. I want this sort of yellow. So again, I just dab it on. And I'm hoping... There we go, hopefully you can see it good. Now, I'm one of these ones, I just love to just go for it, have a good stick them on, hope for the best. Right, I'm going to clean that, I might wash them again properly, see if I can get them to be a bit stickier on the back. I just found the stickiness is gone, but I've washed them with soapy water, hot water, cold water, and nothing seems to reactivate the sticky bit. Um, I think it was just, it's just because they are cheap ones, because when I do it with my ones that have cost me a bit more pennies, they tend to stay sticky on the back. Um, I'm trying to think, I might do a couple of hearts. Um... So I kind of like these. I've got these little hearts here. So again, I'm just going to stick. Oh, see what I mean? They're not, I have a really bad look with these. Never mind, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, anyone got any tips 
on how to get these to really, really sticky. Again, I've tried everything. I've read tips and tried them. Um, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> when the ink stamps are misbehaving, it's not good for me. <laughs> oh, good job I can laugh at myself. Those that know me well from my other videos will know I'm good at laughing at myself. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick that on there. Oh, so I really like that. I think that looks lovely. Some lovely hearts. Uh, oh, drop that one. I've got some more hearts. <laughs> like I said to you, bear with me. I'm not very good at making these videos. It's going a little bit pear-shaped here. Everything's falling apart. See, these ones are sticky. These ones are good. So these ones are some of my more expensive ones I bought. I'm going to do some... I'm just trying to think where I want. I might put them here. Oh, actually, I'm going to put it up here. And then in a minute, I'm going to just take this one off. I'm just going to do one there. So hopefully you're getting a good idea. I'm going to stick that one back on. Give it a clean and swap it for the green. So I can have some green hearts. I just want to mainly get that green there. And then I'm going to just have that one. I'll have this one. I'm someone I just go for it when I'm journaling I don't try and think about it too much because I find if I think about it too much my brain hurts <laughs> I'm really happy with that so I like that so I'm just going to shovel that over there and I will tidy it up at the end <sighs> so then what I might grab is I've got in my drawer here I have got of these lovely they're like glittery pens i've got some other ones somewhere where are they hiding ah here they are where are these ones so i got some i absolutely love these stardust ones they are beautiful these ones are really good as well um but these ones are my favorite so i might go with these ones get some green out and i'll get a yellow out oh, if i can get it out it's not coming come out come out and then I'm just going to do some little crosses randomly around the page. I don't tend to think about it. Like I say, I just go for it. Um, I think sometimes when we do our journaling, we can think too much about what we're trying to create and we get too stuck in the thought process rather than just enjoying the, you know, the time with God. So I'm going to put some down there, do the yellow first. So it just adds a little extra something to the page. And it's very simple. They're just little, little crosses, little plus signs. And I just tend to randomly stick them everywhere, all over my pages. I'll do one here. So that's the yellow one done. So I'm hoping you can see. I'm hoping this is just giving you some good ideas and encouraging you and inspiring you. Like I say, you know, have a go yourself. If you do, I would love to see what you create. Use the free designs you can download and share how you enjoy creating them and using them yourself. Oh, I'm always inspired by people sharing what they enjoy doing and you can share that in the bless it forward bible journey community on facebook which is full of lots of amazing people um who just love god and love being creative with god's word so do come and join us so obviously i'm going to write in here this psalm 23, one, and then I'm going to get my ruler 
I'm just going to underline the verse and I am going to underline it in green just so I want it to stand out and that is my design all finished um, and I hope you don't mind before I go I'm just going to share as part of this which I love is I've got this lovely Psalm 23 um, booklet by Roy Leeson I think it is excuse me if I pronounced that wrong I am rubbish at reading names and pronouncing names um, my wonderful friend Marie sent me this and it is such a blessing I, I love reading it all the time um, so I'm just going to turn the pages so obviously it's based on Psalm 23 and it just goes through it word by word it breaks it down and just opens up the psalm and um, expands it and explains it thought by thought and it is just amazing so I'm just going to take obviously here I've cut the Lord is my shepherd so I'm just going to read from this book what it says for the Lord is my shepherd um, obviously, please bear with me if I read wrong. I am absolutely pants at reading sometimes and I get my words wrong. So it says, The Lord, Yahweh, the Eternal, Jehovah, I am, the self-efficient one, the God of forever and ever, is, not will be one day, not some day, not was a long time ago, is now, at this very moment, as I draw each breath, as I take each step, as I face each circumstance of life, my, not just someone else's, not just the pastors, not just the missionaries, not just the people in the Bible, personal God, my God, knowing me intimately and watching me carefully, loving me fully. Shepherd, pastor, the one who tends, keeps, guards, guides, the good shepherd, the great shepherd, the chief shepherd, the one who leads, the one who feeds, life giver, caregiver, watching every moment, protecting in every situation, providing every need, laying down his life, giving his all, seeking me, carrying me, holding me. Wow, that is amazing, isn't it? That is just absolutely amazing. And obviously it does carry on, it expands it. I mean, I highly recommend if you can get hold of this, um, you do so. So um, pause it, look it up. Um, it is amazing, but isn't that amazing? Thank you, Lord, that you are our shepherd and you love us and you guide us and you look after us and you care for us. You are just, wow, thank you, Lord. It just always blesses me to, you know, come to this verse and just, you know, just, you know, reflect and soak on, you know, that God just loves us so much <laughs> and he cares for us so much. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So anyway, I just hope, you know, this video encourages you, inspires you. Sorry that it's run on. Um, yeah, I will say goodbye now. Check out all the links down below in the description and come and find us. Come and share with me. Come and communicate and, and, and you know, fellowship with us in the Blessed Forward Bible Journey community. Take care. God bless. Bye.